to my channel, Christian Girl Teenager. Long time no see. It's it's been a I just finished crying before making this video, so excuse how I look. But anyways, it's been a crazy long ride since I last saw you guys. Um, I did announce that I'm having a little boy, and I am naming kill Matthew. I am not exposing his middle name for privacy for, for privacy reasons. At least I don't think. I hope I didn't announce it in the um first one the the name or the oh well if I didn't then oh well. But his name is Matthew, and so I'm just decided I am currently 17 weeks pregnant and. Which means I'm in my second trimester of pregnancy. Yay, second trimester! Or not. Second trimester hasn't gotten any easier than the first. Um, the only thing that's really gotten easier is. What has gotten easier? I don't think anything has really gotten easier. I just feel like I'm in the first still. But I guess you could say the soreness of my boobs hasn't really hurt me that often like they were in the first trimester. They still hurt. They still itch. But they're not as painful. And so, um, I just wanted to make this video because most most people don't know that well don't realize how hard teen pregnancy is. Teen pregnancy is not easy by any chance. And it is definitely a lot of work compared to if you were married and over the age of 18 and all that stuff, it would have been easier, but teen pregnancy includes living with your parents and having to go back and forth between your, your um, significant other's house and where you live. It's just a lot of hard work, and then not only that, you're doing schoolwork, having to manage doctor's appointments and having to ignore the people who says bad things about you but that's not always easy having to get through a lot of other things it's been crazy I'm not gonna lie if I would have known teen pregnancy was gonna be this hard I might have reconsidered using a protective sex not that I regret my child I do not regret my child at all. But at the same time, I do kind of wish I would have used protective sex, safe sex. But I'm just happy with my little boy I have now because I love feeling him kick and I love feeling him move. He kicks me quite often, especially in the bladder. And so it's just, it's nice being pregnant, but at the same time, it's a lot of work. And so, oh, I'm so, I mean, there's been days, I, I can't remember, I don't even know how many countless days I've had to miss church just to deal with teen pregnancy issues. There's been days where I just want to lay in bed and not do anything because I knew that that pregnancy is hard and I knew I was going to have to face it another day. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you all the reality of teen pregnancy. It's not easy by any chance, especially whenever a girl thinks, that, well, people think that I have my own in my life, which I don't. And, and I know I have other women in my life that can kind of take the role of my mom. But it doesn't replace that missing spot for my mom. My mom chose to not be in my life after I got pregnant. That was completely her choice, not mine. If I had the choice, I would have, I wanted her to stay in my life, but she made the choice. She t chose to take my two younger brothers with me, one of which is 11, the other one is which, 13 or 14. Yeah, probably about 14 by now. But, yeah, it's definitely hard 
because not only am I missing out on the development of my younger brothers, I was wishing that my mom could see her grand her grandbaby grow, especially her daughters in my, her daughter's stomach. And whenever I always pictured pregnancy, I was thinking, oh, my mom would come to my ultrasounds and my doctor's appointments and help me through everything. It's not been the case at all. And do you know how many countless days I've been crying over something that happened, that um, happened in life? There's been so many times where I would just do nothing but cry over just one little thing. I think that's just a part of pregnancy in general. But it definitely is annoying. But the good news is I had my doctor's appointment yesterday as I'm feeling this. <sighs> if baby is pregnant well, his heartbeat is was one fifty three, which is normal. So anyways, I'm just happy for a healthy pregnancy, have anatomy scan in two weeks, and then the rest is Okay, and then the rest is glucose test and then everything else. So, you guys know how pregnancy is if you've been pregnant before. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I am 17 weeks and 6 days as of, yeah, 6 days. So, um, yeah, things are going good as far as baby-wise. So, I think it's about time to show you all my bump that. I'm sure you guys have been so anxiously waiting for it since my last video, so let's show the bump. Excuse the shorts, but here's the bump. I'm definitely Karen Glow. He likes to kick down here. He, um, he always finds his heart. We always find the heartbeat down here, and so I can definitely tell if I'm Karen Glow. And so, anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me on this pregnancy journey so far, it's almost halfway there, which is crazy. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video whenever I post. <laughs> I'm not going to set a schedule on whenever I post because I never get to. But, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, you're not here to judge, you're here to love and serve God's people. And love, hope, peace, and joy. Bye.